Bock nicht sehr. Now then, how's it doing? Hope you're all good. Right, I've been wanting to share this with you for quite a while now. It's all to do with spotting. So there's our spot, there's our spot rod. And we've all got to use one of these because we use braid. Right, we can strap this. You know, it's like when you're using a wet spod mix, everything gets a bit of a mess, doesn't it? Even these can start slipping. Anyway, let's sling that away. Right, so for the last two or three years, I've been doing a bit of beach fishing. And then um, what I've found is a little thing called a casting cannon. Let me show you. That little thing. So I use this for my beach fishing all the time now. Because when I'm beach fishing, I'm using braid as well. So yeah, bit of plastic, bit of stainless steel. So basically, when you get these, it's supposed to be facing downwards, so you're using your finger. But I found this better using your thumb, because then you can actually grip the rod as hard as you can. So the way this works, let me show you. If you can see that. So you've got this little trigger there, look. Do that, put that under there, grip it, open that up. And that's it, it's ready to go. Then when you cast in, just let go of that and it's off. See that again? Some people, they do that round twice. But it's not going to go anywhere. Then if your hands get wet, it's not an issue. You can grip the rod as hard as you can. Then when it comes to it, just let go. Right, let me show you that from a different angle. So that's when you're holding it tight. So you release that. Pull the line there. That grips it. Then open your bail arm. You can always give that a tug if you're not sure. That's how it looks. And the good thing we're doing this, you can do when you pull your line to make sure it goes through the rings okay. I tend to do that with this now. I never used to do it before when I held it with my finger in case it moved from my finger position. But doing that's all right. So that's it. Just release it. I've never seen anybody else doing this, not for spotting. And um, for the sea fishing, it really does help. You know, no gloves, no finger stoles, any of that. So, that is one of the best things I've found just lately for, for this. Like I say, I've never seen anybody else doing it. Right, I'm, I'm fishing at the minute. Look at that for a backdrop. But I'm only fishing in the margins, so I'm not actually spotting or anything. But I'll, I'll put a bit of bait in this and I'll show you it. So I'll show you in a minute. Right, so loaded up just a few pellets. We'll get ready. Like I say, so... Pull that back, drop that there, open up and it's ready to go. Just make sure you don't leave go of this so it'll be all over the spot. And as you're winding in, you're just grabbing the rod as normal, like that. You can keep on there if you want. Brilliant. I absolutely love it. Give it a go. The um, It's a casting cannon. I think it's... Um, oh, I don't know. I can't think who does it. But if you look up casting cannon... Well, it's, I think it's castaway tackle. And they're about £15, £20. But you've got to actually tape it to the to the rod. Just a bit of tape. Get it in the right position that you want. Like I say, they say to do it there. But when I had it under there, the first time I did it, when you let go, it's like a, 
a fraction of a second late so it ends up plunging into the ground and I found it much better using the thumb like I say so you I mean even when you're using the finger saw you like that you've only got three fingers holding the rod whereas like that you're proper gripping it you can proper go for it give it a bash let me know in the comments how you've got on if you do try it right back to my fishing catch you soon